love, love, love it. Oh, oh good. You? So good to hear. You're welcome. Let's begin with you, Miss Eliza. What got you interested in joining the cast as our starling girl? Um, I mean, Lewis is a pretty good reason, first off. Um, yeah. But Laurel is such a talent. She's, you know, the script that she had written was so tight and uh, it, it navigated so many um, different topics like uh, church abuse and inappropriate relationships and um and also, I I just love a coming of age film. I think they have a special place in my heart because I I just loved them so much growing up. And um, yeah, it was just a really a, a perfect script. Oh, and you, Mr. Lewis, equally fantastic as Owen Taylor. Talk to us about your character. I mean, he's the forbidden fruit, right? <laughs> describe him to us. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't heard him describe like that, but it's a good way to put it. Um, yeah. And I think in many ways, Jem has been fruit for him. You know, I think um, there is a lot I was interested in exploring about this guy. Um, I really wanted to try to bring some humanity and into him and um, make sure that he. Uh, I I don't know. I I keep saying this, but I and maybe it was it, it was an ambitious goal. But I my hope was to make him approachable enough and. Uh, to make his mistakes understandable enough um, that somebody in the audience who maybe is experiencing something similar wouldn't stray away from comparing themselves to him. You know, if he was a, a cold, hard villain, I think they wouldn't be as apt to uh, maybe lift up a mirror, you know, and then look at themselves. Oh, Miss Eliza, talk to us about your character, Jem. I love her. The girl who wants to be a dancer, to dance for the Lord but also committed a grave sin, right? Just being human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk to us about it. Yeah. yeah, well, that's, um. I think that's what makes this film interesting is that she's, you know, she's a a young girl, uh, you know, f experiencing sexual feelings for the first time. But uh, the backdrop is a Christian fundamentalist church, which kind of um, exacerbates uh, her feelings that, because they're, she's not supposed to feel those things um, and she's told to bury those feelings. Uh, so it, it comes out in, in kind of, uh, it comes out in sort of explosive ways that, that becomes quite destructive. And she's, uh, yeah, so she's a dancer. She loves to um, do dancing that honors God. And we kind of see her dancing style change as she is on this journey of like a sexual awakening and she becomes more expressive. And um, yeah, I think she's, I would say that she's like a, she's a fiery spirit and she's a, a bit of a contrarian. Oh, and Lewis at its heart is the forgotten self, I think. I mean, people forgetting about about their own self-actuality for the sake of other things, like in this case, religion. I mean, do you agree with me on that? Yeah, really well said. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what, you know, you you try and f find your way in with every character. And that was definitely my way in with Owen was that kind of loss of sense of self and that feeling of alienation within his community. He had just done a, you know, been um, out in Costa Rica and had learned all these new innovative um, maybe taboo ways of, of worship that had really kind of reignited his faith and he comes back to his community and the, he's kind of like ostracized for it um, and I think that's a that's a feeling I think we've probably all had at some point in our lives. Oh Eliza the starling girl opens in Palm Springs on May 26th what do you hope for our viewers to get after watching the film? Um, I, I hope that the film sparks conversation um maybe more you know com complex conversations about the moral uh ambiguity of this relationship and also it's a coming of age so i hope people kind of get that message that um you know uh how people's expectations can affect our sense of self and how important it is to um you know forge our own path despite people's expectations oh anything to add lewis yeah, I think people should go to this uh, to the theaters and see this for the same reasons and to watch Eliza give an absolute dynamite performance. Oh, oh a big, big, big congrats on the starting girl again. 
a film that will stay with you long after the credits are done. So thank you so much for that. Thank, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you.